you do? Oh shit. Podcast is brought to you by these cool dudes. <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody, and welcome to the Red Beard Podcast. This is Cooley, and I'm chilling with Tony. What's going on, everybody? And I'm chilling with Cassidy. Hey, what's up? And I'm chilling with Jim. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is live, and we're on the way to Walker Stalker Boston 2016. What's up, people? Nothing much, man. I'm psyched. Are you psyched? I'm pretty psyched to be I'm, having a noose around my neck right now. I am over the moon. Great <laughs> milk. Great milk. <laughs> yeah, so we got uh, we got Cassidy with us as uh, as we've been talking to you guys about. So uh, she's all like kind of zombie, Wonder Woman out right now. It looks like she got in a fight with a zombie because uh, we put some pretty nasty scars on her, and she's got a noose around her neck to as a, explain that, Cassidy. Your well, idea instead for that. of the lasso, well, I mean, I have the lasso, but we've made it into a noose, so it looks like somebody has killed me with my own weapon. Hell it's yeah. Dark poetry to that. And you, were sur- and you were surprised that I knew how to make a noose. I was a little worried, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, it's like, if you know how to make a noose, you're like, oh, don't worry about it, I got you. I taught him. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't surprise me. I taught him how to make a noose. <laughs> Everyone that's ever made nooses before, <laughs> I taught him. You, ma- you originated the noose. Uh, I was the originator of the noose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've been around for a while. I mean, if we're, if we're going Walking Dead mythology here i mean it's possible there is a bite mark on your shoulder yeah it's possible that wonder woman made the noose and she's about to hang herself you know i'm i'm in the process of turning yeah man it's like fuck this i don't want to turn yeah what do you think what do you think do you think wonder woman like let's talk about that for a second though do you think that what are the odds that she actually would get bit by a zombie because she seems like she would kick some ass right I feel like she would take out, like, a ton of people. Yeah, well, are we talking Walking sense. Dead zombies, or are we talking World War Z zombies? I don't think it matters. It kind of does, I think. I, I think would it say does. Walking Dead zombies. Yeah, Walking Dead zombies, no way. She fucks everybody up. Yeah, but, like, World War Z zombies? She's maybe, like, yeah, she's maybe. She just gets swarmed, and fucking there's no... I mean, at some point, one of them's gonna get her. All right. But, like, yeah. if we look at, like, Gail Simone written Wonder Woman, she's so annoyingly righteous... <laughs> yes. Even if she got bitten, she would be a hero. Mm. Like, she would just be a hero you couldn't kill. <laughs> yeah. She would be a really hard to kill zombie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree. Mm-hmm. But, like, doesn't that. But don't you think that's gonna, like. Doesn't that just take all her shit away, though? She's just, like. Nah. It's literally like, walking taking away all of her power? Yeah, she's just walking around as a zombie that used to have powers. Well, I mean, <laughs> she doesn't have. She doesn't really have powers. Been like granted strength and shit by the gods. Yeah. But All right. It's not like she was bitten by a radioactive spider or some shit. True. All right. Good point. So Aquaman the gods can still give chance, that zombie so. power. Right. Yeah. The gods yeah. could really For actually reason, prevent it from pose. happening. <laughs> I mean, if you got the gods on your side. Yeah, I guess so. You could basically create some sort of godly salve. <laughs> so, uh, what are you guys excited uh, excited to see or excited to do at the, at the con? Because Jim, I know you haven't been to the to Walker Stalker before. Uh huh. So, I mean, is there anybody from The Walking Dead that you're excited to meet? No. No. Actually, <laughs> actually, if there's somebody that I'd like to meet, I'd like to meet Lenny James. All right. I think he's awesome. I've loved a lot of his work. All right. Do you have any? Do you have any uh, interest in meeting Stephen Yun or Glenn? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, which is why I wanted to ask you. Oh my god. I think I'm sure he's a great guy. <laughs> That's it. That's I'm sure he it. has a sterling personality. I couldn't give a shit. Keep it. Hey, you. would you? Uh, <laughs> let me ask you this. I know this is not uh, Walking Dead related, but he is going to be there again this year. Uh, the guy who played Gus from Breaking Bad is going to be there. 
Yeah. So, so Giancarlo he, Esposito. He is super awesome, man. So I would I would recommend meeting him because I met him last year, and he was a super nice guy. He, uh, he even offered to take a second picture for free, but hold a box cutter to my throat while he did it. So yeah, that was that's pretty really cool. cool. Yeah. You know what I also found out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna blow you guys' mind right now, but I don't know if anybody knows this movie, but um, the movie Nothing to Lose. Has anybody seen it besides me? I have with, because yeah. with, you're my yeah, friend. with Tim Robbins and Martin Lawrence. Well, there's these two characters in that movie. One of the guys I can't remember his name, but he uh, he's a character actor. He was in Scrubs. He was also in um, he played one of the Bobs in Office Space. Who was it? John C. Riley. No, no, not John C. Riley. No. no, it's John C. Riley's stepbrothers. But we're talking about. I, I don't. I don't remember his name. But he was uh, played a robber or, or like a highway criminal with this other guy, a younger version of uh, uh, Esposito, which I didn't know that that was him until maybe about a week ago, and then I found out that was a. And I didn't mention that to him when I saw him last time because I had no idea. And that's like one of my favorite movies. So who would have thought? So random. And that's Siri or Lila from Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> it's alarming, actually. It's just because we don't know where we're going. No. So, a little bit on the Dexter theme. If you could just go around and kill bad people and get away with it, would you? Yes. Would see, you? See, like, there's here's here's the thing, like. I want to, but I know, like, I'd end up having a conscience problem. Even like, if you know, they were, like, the scum of the earth, like, motherfuckers from ISIS, you would feel bad about killing them. No, no, if they were, like, if, yeah, if you're gonna go, like, ISIS, no. I mean, like, you Fuck kill ISIS. them, you save a bunch of other people. That's if true. it was, like, Lil ISIS, if it was all, like... Lil ISIS! <laughs> if, it was all, if it was children ISIS... Is that, like, their ISIS, rat band? I'd have a problem. <laughs> I, would, I would legit have a problem. Even though they're doing <laughs> terrible things... <laughs> and, they're, and they know well, a lot about bombs and guns. Gun. And well, you know, and children... At a young age, because they're only going to get more fluent. <laughs> they're only going to get more fluent. Fluent in murder. Yeah, in murder and weaponry <laughs> as they go along. Fluent in murder. Well, Jim, the thing is, Dexter never killed kids. No, oh, so no. So you take that off the table anyway. Oh, then, yeah, I'm totally down for just murder. <laughs> <laughs> not, in, not, in, I'm not in general, I'm America saying, America like, bad people. Something cool. bad happens at this con, they're coming for you, Jim. You brought you brought this up, actually, and, I, and Jim, I wanted to go back to that. You actually said, you asked us if, uh, if we would actually be able to survive in a Walking Dead Situation. I I definitely would. I think all I think everyone in my family would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Even your brother. I think a lot of my friends would be gone. Oh yeah, they're all they're all just gonna be dead. But I'd survive. I'd be fine. Yeah. I think you just hang. Back I'd be, and let everybody I'd be happen. sad. I'd be sad for a while. See, I have. See, so part of me actually, part of me, mildly disagrees with you because. You well, have you and my family? Do you think? No, that? no, I'm not. It has nothing to do no, with your family. I disagree that you. I, I don't. I, I so don't. We're on the same page. I don't question my family being dead. Yeah, you yeah. You don't question. No, that. I don't question that. <laughs> I, I actually, I disagree with the fact that you might actually be able. You think that you would make it because you barely make it in a movie theater. <laughs> Never mind a real situation where <laughs> shit's gonna be popping out, bro. Are you, you kidding you, me? That you is can't, no, you can't hold up your cell phone to protect yourself from it. You have to fight it. That is exactly why I would survive, is I'd be so on edge <laughs> all the time. I don't think it works like that. I would be right? completely- It doesn't. I would be wary of every moment. I would be on high but alert. Dude, problem. you don't think that half the people in Walking Dead are on high alert all the time? And that's why they survive. That's why they're still on the show. No, but there's always one guy that's like, he's going in there and he's on high alert. And it's like, Rah! he gets bit and he's fucked. Yeah. You know, well, like. He wasn't on high enough alert. <laughs> he wasn't on high enough alert. I've, <laughs> I've accumulated enough goodwill and good deeds. He was on. <laughs> he, on those guys are on medium <laughs> alert. <laughs> I was on high alert, though. Yeah, bro. Child. Higher alert. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, are we talking like. The Walking Dead universe, or are we talking like the zombie apocalypse happening in our world? All right, so like, would I survive? And because the difference is this: in the Walking Dead world, like there wasn't, I don't, I don't think there was a whole lot of like zombie lore and fiction. It wasn't like a popular 
like genre and the zombie apocalypse happens and people don't recognize other people as zombies they see other people and they're like oh he's sick right but, but like if but you and I if you saw a motherfucking zombie you would know a motherfucking zombie right yeah. oh yeah like yeah. but but in the zombie in the walking dead world like if if you've watched fear the walking dead like you've got fucking legit zombies walking around and everybody's just like oh, he's sick you know what's but funny he, though? He's gonna get better. Let's help him out. Blah blah blah. But you know, you know what's but funny you don't though? Think we that there's enough people out there that uh, that aren't as fluent in the zombie lore as we are that would just fucking die. That would do exactly the same thing it's that people do in Walking now. Dead. But but like, also, do you think like how many elderly people watch The Walking well, Dead? Well, how many elderly people can fight a zombie anyway? All right, uh, word. Walk, elderly people are zombies. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Anything. <laughs> I went there. Anything the well, elderly can do, we can do better. Yeah. What do you? Yeah, but wait, see, I mean, the opposite. But here's the thing, though. You so you, we all say that, like, like realistically. And by like, elderly, oh, I mean elderly we, and infirm. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's like we say, oh yeah, we would know a zombie if we saw it. But you know, there's like a part of you that's gonna see somebody that is probably really fucked up looking, and you're like gonna be wait. That's not a real zombie though. This is like. 2016, like zombies aren't real. Like there's because gonna be they a were part in of you. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying though. Like you're gonna question it. But I'm not gonna investigate either. No. Well, no. Oh, but, hey, buddy, you okay? No, no but, but fuck I'm, that. No, I get that. But all, but you know, you keep your distance. But you're also gonna be like, all right, well, zombies aren't real. Yeah, I'm like you two know? streets over, going, buddy, you all right? I think what would fuck me up though is if it happened to somebody <laughs> I was close to. Yeah. I wouldn't want to admit to myself that they would be a zombie. And I'd be like, no, they're sick. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. You gotta learn to make the hard decisions in life, Cassidy. Yeah, but what if you jump the gun and they're not a zombie? What if they just have, like, the swine flu or something? I think so. Well, I think I think risk. if somebody coming at you, like, I mean, oh, well, that's no, not okay, swine yeah. flu symptoms. Well, I'll be, you know, like, <laughs> if they're coming at me, they're like, oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, think of like a Shaun of the Dead. Maybe I'll keep them chained up in my shed and play video games. <laughs> oh, Alright, Shaun of the Dead. Yep. Alright, you're gonna be Sub Zero, I'll be Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go to town with a cricket bat. <laughs> Yeah, Get no. over here. Oh, I, feel like, I feel like Shaun of the Dead may have been one of the most realistic representations of what would happen if there was a zombie apocalypse. All he cared People about was getting walk. his girl at the pub. That's yeah. what he gave a shit about. Just wanted to get to the pub. Uh, that's, that's, that's I mean, me. a lot of people will be drinking during the zombie apocalypse. Oh, yeah. It's I would like be doing it. meth. You'd be doing meth? Yeah. I well, thought he said math. I thought he said math, too. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just, like, sitting in a shed <laughs> doing <laughs> Sudoku. <laughs> Jim, you all right? No, this puzzle's stressful. I gotta work on these trigonometry problems. Like, Everybody oh, just look in the back of the book. I don't want to. And it only just, shows all the even number answers. It's just like, <laughs> I'll, you just, and you see, and you see Jim just go, I'm gonna do some math books. Do you, do you remember wondering? So that way answers. teachers would know if you copied it. So if you got all the even answers right and all the odds wrong, they would know. <laughs> Do you remember wondering what the fuck you were studying math for in school? Yeah. yeah. I what do I wonder. need? What do I need this for? It's the zombie apocalypse. Oh you need it God. for the zombie apocalypse. Jim just broke the code. He did. I'm telling you, man. I still don't use math. <laughs> like I don't use algebra now. I use like, math whenever I'm counting my money. Yeah. That's the only time I use math. Yeah. So you only need to know how to count to ten for that. Yeah. I have never had to find <laughs> out what the fuck x is in my real life. No. <laughs> just like you know what I mean. And no, no reason. I mean, I'm not, I'm not fucking building. Ah, dude, yeah, but some people have to. I mean, like, don't just diss math. No, I'm saying oh, as a no, computer. I'm saying I don't need to. Like, I think that's a big, as a computer yeah, technician, yeah, you you kind of do. Fuck math. Oh yeah, you, well, you fuck solve for you x. Math. All right, okay, all right, that yeah. makes sense. All right, as if a computer technician, to yes, but. I don't, like, write out the equation. You know what I mean? Like, right. There are people that legit have to, like, write out. There was, dude, there was a, a guy that I that I ran into that literally, he came in one day, and he opened up a book, and he had calculus. And I was like, what do you use that for? He's like, oh, I'm a scientist. I'm like, oh, all right. Like, cool, man. Like, he really needed to use that. I mean, I don't, but anyway, that's why I don't use math, because <laughs> it's mad complicated. So. But, uh... I'm actually psyched to meet some of the other people that are going to be there today. Uh, I definitely want to uh, uh, meet Elvira. I know that's like random, but yeah, no, Elvira is cool her. shit. That's awesome. She's a legend. You know, this is awesome. I want to meet her. Anybody? Any? No. So you're not going to meet anybody today. 
Who, me? Yeah. I don't know. Because it breaks the illusion. <laughs> it breaks the fucking illusion. I'm going to meet some 80s people, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I know they're going to have 80s, 90s people. Like, I'm not going to go and fucking talk to... You, you're going to go and talk to these folks. Like, I mean, I've, I've listened to, like, interviews with, like, places like Entertainment Weekly and fucking... Uh, and they can't tell you shit. Mm-hmm. You can't be like, hey, what's going on on the set? They're not going to fucking sit there and spill the beans. You know what I mean? It's true. It's well, I have like, a drink first. yeah, you're not gonna. Find, <laughs> I'm a drink, right? You're not gonna. We're not gonna find out anything. All right. And we can't. We can't get creative with our questions because they've heard them all. Well, I don't know. It depends on on who we can pull aside and ask some questions. Um, but we're gonna be doing some Facebook Live stuff, guys. So make sure that you uh, you tune in for that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but I want to Facebook dead. Oh, oh I was, was, I was late on that. You were you were late, but I still I I don't think it was a bomb. I thought it was good. It was it was it was good in a cheesy way. Yeah. So Cassidy, I do want to uh, talk to you for a second. So um, talk to us about this whole cosplay shtick and how you got into it, and because it you know you do like a couple different characters. You're a huge Game of Thrones fan. Oh God, you have um, yes. But I mean, your cosplay, I, from what I, I've seen, and obviously that's why you're here with us, kicks ass. So talk about how you got into it. Um, the way I got into it was actually pretty unconventional. Back when I was in, I think I was in junior year of high school, I wanted to go to my first Pride event down in Providence. And my uh, my high school best friend over there, he was just like, all right, so will you go in a Wonder Woman costume? And like, I, I, I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was insecure as shit, and I was like, dude, no, that's, that's ridiculous. But he kept pressure, pressuring it, which was good because he wanted to get me out there, which I wouldn't have done on my own. So I was like, if you can get me a Wonder Woman costume in the four days until Pride, I'll wear it. And he goes, all right. I didn't think he could do it, but he got my friend to make me one. <laughs> and so there you have it. Um, <laughs> I kept good on the bet. My first Wonder Woman costume is not... It, it, I mean, it was made in four days, and the woman, and the girl did a fantastic job. But it, there's a huge difference between that one and this one now. Mm-hmm. But it was incredible. Like, I got there, and not only, I mean, being at Pride as somebody who was coming to terms with the fact that I was not straight was a big eye-opener in the first place. But being there in a Wonder Woman costume gave me a whole lot of confidence when I thought it would just shut me down, like, confidence-wise. Right. And I started realizing, you know, I, I go on stage a lot for, uh, for music because I'm in a band. And I started realizing it was another sort of form of, of cabaret that I could express my artistic side. That I could, you know, go out and be someone else for a day and take a vacation from life. Yeah. And so I really started going with uh, a lot of the, like, the, the heroines that I really idolize. Like, I do a Xena Warrior Princess cosplay, which is my favorite one to do. Which looks costume, awesome, by the way. Thank you. I will admit I did not make that one because I, the leather work and the metal work was a little beyond my skill set. Right. But it do is, you stick to the heroines or do you fuck with the cocaines and the? I do fuck with the cocaines occasionally. <laughs> I'm not doing meth until the zombie apocalypse. All right. Nice. But you know. <laughs> well, you gotta you gotta blend in. You know, get those teeth a little rotted. Exactly. If they think I'm already a zombie, yeah. they're not gonna come after me. No, exactly. if you keep fucking with the heroines, then. The, yeah. teeth, the teeth will go. <laughs> the teeth will go. I'll take care of that on my phone. <laughs> what a rush. There goes my molar. <laughs> if you want to speed it up, just do a little bit of crystal. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you know? <laughs> so, uh, but, so Wonder Woman, though, I mean, I know you said Xena's your favorite, but I feel like I first saw you as Wonder Woman. That seems to be kind of like your bread and butter. Is it because it's your first one? Like, is that your... Why is Xena your favorite as opposed to Wonder Woman? I think Xena is my favorite because I feel most comfortable. Like, Wonder Woman is obviously fantastic and I feel very confident as Wonder Woman. But Wonder Woman is a little too perfect as a character. Yeah. Whereas xena has got a lot of flaws. She's got some emotional baggage. I I kind of I relate to her a little bit more. Okay. And so I find it... Um, even though I can pretend to be someone else as Xena still, I find it a more natural fit. Mm-hmm. And it's a little bit more fun to play somebody who's got a dark side. Got you. Now, I know you're a, um, 
a huge Game of Thrones fan. Oh, yes. Um, and you do one of the characters from Game of Thrones. Yes, um, I do Alaria Sand, That's which awesome. you would know on the show as the bitch who killed Prince Doran. But in the books, she's much, much better than that. <laughs> and, so, uh, so you hate the way she's portrayed in oh the show? Oh, God. It's like, it's a completely different character. In yeah. the books, she's very much, let's make peace with the Lannisters, war begets war, let's make, you know, stop this, I just don't want my girls to get hurt. And in the show, she's like, fucking Xena, kill them all. Like, it's, yeah. I don't know how they even made that jump. But it takes a really, compl like, complex, emotionally wise character and turns her into just another bloodthirsty warlord, which Game of Thrones has plenty of. Definitely, definitely. I mean... I don't know about you, man, but I thought this season was probably the best season they've ever had. It was phenomenal. I agree with you, actually. And I, the first episode had me all set to hate it because I was like, oh, we're starting out with the Doran abortion. Look at this. Yeah. But as the season went on, it, I'm, I'm even okay with the fact that Lady Stoneheart isn't in it because Sansa and Arya kick some ass. Oh, my God. Arya? What a fucking oh awesome God, character this season. Ugh. She just, like, fucked up everybody. And we were all getting a little bored with her storyline, too, and then she just came out of the gates. Yeah. Well, you had, which is, like, the, the girl has no name. <laughs> yeah. The girl has no You have no name. So, <laughs> all right, dude. You look like Jesus. Like, what's the point? Like, I just... No, like, Jesus, if he did some heroin. <laughs> like, he, he wasn't a good-looking Jesus. Yeah, that guy had some coke eyes. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? He looks like he never got sleep. I mean, he but... probably didn't. Yeah, I mean, and then, I don't know, like, I just, I was getting a little bored with her storyline, but the last scene with her, where she, like, th takes off the f face and then beautiful. slits the, oh my god, slits the guy's throat, fucking epic. Well, what's interesting is that that whole pie thing was done in the books, but it was done by somebody else, and it wasn't done by Lady Stoneheart either. I don't want to give it away for people who haven't read the books, but, so it, it was a shock to me that it was Arya, because I was... I'm used to it as someone else. Yeah. I just wish that they... Because in, in the first... Was it the first season or this, the second season? Uh, the second season when when she met that guy. Jack and Agar? Jack yeah, and Agar, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, she goes to the... yeah, the, yeah. I really liked him in the second season and then when, he got so bland. When she met him, the, the face changing Faceless thing... Man or whatever. Yeah. Was like... It was like it looked like a power. It looked like it was like it was she was changing the face, and now it turned into like this like fucking weird Scooby Doo thing, like, like where Mission you, Impossible. Yeah, like where you you're peeling off like a mask, and it's like I wish they had kept it the other way because this just looks really like weird. Like yeah, yeah, no, I can. I can like I mean, I I get it, and I can put myself. I can I can forgive it, but at the same time, they I don't know why they fucked with it because in the in the. It's when they first dramatic. introduced it, it was like this weird, like, the face would, like, shake a little bit. It looked like this weird, like, uh, if you've ever seen, um, Jacob's Ladder. Oh, yeah. That movie, Jacob's Ladder. With Tim Robbins, yeah. Yeah, like, where the face is, like, that guy that, that guy that has, like, that faceless look, and it's, yeah. like, just shaking, like, vibrating. That's what it kind of reminded me of when, when I first saw, like, the faceless man. Yeah. You know? And, and, uh, I feel like they, they deviated from that, and they didn't have to. Well, there are a few in like we've all seen Melisandre without her necklace before, but it, yeah, like we've seen it. Well, that's the thing. Like I don't. That's that's. See, it's interesting that you said that because a lot of people have pointed this out to me, and I'm just like, I don't think that taking her necklace off was necessarily the reason why she reverted to some old crone. I think. I think she controls that. Yeah, I think right. she controls it. I think she just was taking off her necklace. Like it was just part of her disrobing. Like, the more I thought about it, the more I got that. But they did make it seem like it was some sort of power in the necklace. Yeah, yeah, like, they that did. Would, that was a direct. Thing. Well, because because it was glowing and and shit yeah. when she took it off. Yeah. Now, Cassidy, you've read the books, right? Yes. <clears throat> Has anybody else in here? Have you read the books? Uh, no. Fully? I've read the I read the first book and I stopped reading the book because I wanted to watch the show first. Um, mainly because I didn't want the shit that Cassidy's going through right now. Uh. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, like where I'm like, oh, this sucks because it's not the same as fucked book. Oh, but Book's that, way better. But now that season six happened, mm -hmm. it's fine. So I'd say go back to it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm about to because like I'm about to because I've already watched everything and there's like two more seasons left and there's so much there's so much book that I know I'm not gonna finish by the time season eight finishes. Yeah. Yes. So you've read the books, Cassie. Let me ask you: uh, Are there dragons in the book? Yes. <laughs> 
Interesting. <laughs> he said interesting. Hmm. <laughs> 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 All right. Now is uh is Daenerys like more vicious than she is in, in the book than she is in the show? Um, actually, because remember that uh, season six has not happened in the books yet. So okay. all the shit that we just saw with her like burning them up again, like that hasn't happened yet. She's sort of just hanging out in Marine. Um, she has not met Tyrion in the books. Okay. He's sort of made to fight in this fighting pit with this character who's not in the show, uh, Penny, who's gotcha. another dwarf actually. Okay. And um, they haven't met, but I actually I really like what they did with that. Like his whole "I don't believe in anything, but I believe in you" speech. Like that fucking touched me, man. <laughs> um, so I, I kind of like what they how they deviated with her. The only character at this point, other than Alaria, that I don't like what they're doing to is Jamie. Okay. Uh, in the books, he is Fifty Shades of Done with Cersei. <laughs> he <laughs> wants nothing to do with her. He has had so much character development since meeting Brienne. But in the show, he's just, like, whipped still. Well, no, it looks like at well, the now, end... Now he... Yeah, is it looks like I at the end, it looks like he's done. I'm thinking... That's and a I lot don't know, of people you killed at once. Yeah. You should... Including triggering our son to kill himself. Yeah. And oh, the, the, the dopest shit about that whole sequence <laughs> was that she's fucking getting ready for a coronation. But and her, I had no idea. Like, I'm watching her get ready, and I'm like, wow, that's a really fancy uh, fucking suit to go to court. You know what I mean? Like, she's... Like, I mean, her shit looked, like, super... Like, it was, like, probably the best designed costume... It was. ...for for anybody on the show ever. Um, fucking awesome. It was gorgeous. It was fucking well... Well well crafted. Like, the, the shoulder, like, armor and shit like that I was... I was gonna say, because it, it was made out of leather, and it was made out of... Ar- it was armor, and it yeah. looked like she was going to war. Yes, yeah. I, I, dude. The fact that the High Sparrow got killed and he knew it was happening was like, it was fucking awesome. Because I, I just can't stand that guy. Can because, we talk about how he looks like Bernie Sanders? Oh God, he does. But he's got that his voice. He's just like, oh, the gods can't. It's, it's you know, whatever. He's just like, it's not up to me. It's up to the gods. Like, I just couldn't stand him. Shame. And, you know, just, just oh, like I have no control die. over this, but I'm controlling everything. Shame. It's like, I don't know. I have to admit, I was shocked that Marjorie died. I thought she was going to last longer. I did too, but as soon as uh, she looked at the High Sparrow, I was like, it's over. You know, because I think she kind of sold her soul in a little bit. You know, like like at one point where she kind of like made... She was she was trying to find a way out. She was playing the game, but Yeah, she... but I think by doing that, she kind of like sold her soul. You yeah. know what I mean? Her grandma's still fucking fierce as shit, though. Yeah. Now, did her brother survive, or did he already get taken out? Her brother in the books is somewhere completely different. He got sent off to some war, um, and he is, like, he's basically dying of a wound. But Tommen... No, but in the show, he's dead, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, because... In the show, the Rose died in that in that yeah. blast. But Tommen really okay, idolized right. Loras, and Cersei sent Loras away to fight... Because she didn't want Tommen to be so influenced by a gay man. Okay. Which I thought was really interesting. And I really loved Loras for a while, but he got useless toward the end. But the, uh, but he had to die because he's Iron Fist now. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he is. Yep. Yep. What I think is... And it, you know what's though. funny, though? Like, do you see how... You see what it, you see what he looked like in, in this last season? I'm like, with good. the... With the beard and like all like fucking like rough and shit like that. It almost if when you watch Iron Fist, right? The funniest shit is that it's gonna look like he he went right from that to being Iron Fist. So like he died there and just resurrected in in, in the Marvel universe because he has the same the same like scruffy beard and shit like that because he shows up as like this like homeless dude. Um, it's it's actually really funny. I'm gonna show you a picture later. What I think is gonna happen now. Is I think that Jamie's gonna kill Cersei. I mean, it's it's gonna parallel what he did with King Ares, because she did the exact same thing that Ares did. And there was that prophecy, the show didn't dwell on it quite as much as the books do, mm-hmm. that the Valonkara, which is um, Valyrian for little brother, would kill her. And she always thought that it was gonna be Tyrion. But Jamie's technically a few minutes younger than her. <laughs> and it would be a beautiful poetry if he killed her. I mean, his honor obviously compels him to do so if he did it with Ares. You could tell he's not thrilled with her. They could have been building up their relationship more in the show for dramatic effect. 
And th she constantly says, you know, we came into this world together, we'll go out together. What if mm. in the final battle, he kills her and he either kills himself after or he gets killed some other way? Maybe, maybe Daenerys will take him out thinking that he's still on Cersei's side. I don't know, but I'm pretty convinced that Jamie's going to be the one to kill her. That makes sense. That's going to be bittersweet if it happens. It's going to be awesome. I mean, oh, so yeah. like, well, where? I want him with Brienne, man. There, I don't want him with Cersei. We're we're on our way to Walker Stalker, right? So all zombies and dead and all that shit, right? How many the undead. Are we gonna see today? We're, yeah, so so that's where I'm getting I mean, kind of with them. this. Probably some um, black walkers and some Latino walkers. <laughs> <laughs> Zing, <laughs> love it. Boom. Um, we're almost here, right? So we're talking Game of Thrones. What, what do you think about Benjen? The whole idea, the whole the whole thing they're doing with Uncle Benjen. I mean, but, everyone, I think, pretty much forgot about him. Yeah. <laughs> and he shows up, and he's, like, this fucking, like, badass, like, zombie, undead warrior I hope who's still more. conscious. Yeah, I hope they do more with him. I mean, you don't see a whole lot of that, though. You don't see a whole lot of, like, undead zombies, right, that have their consciousness. Like, they, they, they're still the same person. Well, it was all because of the children of the forest. Right. They helped preserve him. But what was cool is that in the in the books, like there was this character called Cold Hands, and they really built him up, and he was just always kind of lurking in the background, and he like rode a fucking elk around the forest, and they haven't revealed him as Benjen, but obviously now we know he is. So it's really cool the way they played that up in the show. I think there could have been a little bit more build up because, like I said, we all kind of forgot about him, and like when he came around, I was kind of like, who the fuck is? It? Oh, Benjen. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Man. Yeah, he just kind of showed up out of nowhere. Yeah, it yeah, took me longer to figure out who he was. Either Hold no, the no door! At all. No, oh, Jesus, no. You know what? Everybody, here's the thing. That hurt. I get it, and I understand that, like, everybody was so bummed out when he died. That guy annoyed the fuck out of me. And, like, when he died, my initial reaction was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. that's literally how I felt. And then, like, then I went to work, and everybody was like... Losing their shit yeah, over people, this they, guy. they had a fucking vigil, like for him. Like, and I'm like, like, what the fuck? He held the door, like walking it, to like, work, and there's fucking was, candles everywhere. Well, fucking it wasn't, a um, big. He did a great job of holding. Big that portrait door. of Hodor like, you know, in the middle. He held that door. You gotta give him credit. Like he, he sure held did. the door. He it did. wasn't so much the death of him that bothered me. It was. It was the what, life. What hurt me is that he could have been totally fine, but Bran fucked up all this shit. And, like, he turned into this babbling idiot, basically, because Bran couldn't stop warging into people when he shouldn't have. You know what? Bran's a little bitch. He right? is! I fucking can't stand it. Like, stop whining. Like, oh, my God, dude. Close your eyes and sit in the fucking chair. I know, chair. right? Yeah, like, you fuck, oh, man, I, I can't fucking walk. Oh, shut the fuck up. Pick yourself know, up. The, pick yourself up from off the ground and stand on your own two feet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I just thought he's such a, he's such a fucking, like, Pain in the ass, man. I, I don't understand yes, why. I was not, I was not sad that he didn't appear in a full season. Yeah, right. I was okay with that. I don't know. Mm. Well, anyway, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just ready for next season already, and it's going to be a friggin' year. Oh, God, I know. It's fine. I mean, I need it because Got we're never going to get shit. the last book. Dude, there's plenty of other shit on on TV. I'm not worried about when that comes back. When it comes back, it'll be a pleasant surprise. Yep. What else is coming back? There's uh, a couple other shows on. The new season of Limitless. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Is that true? Like, did they renew <laughs> yeah, no, that shit? I have no idea. No, I think that show got canceled. Probably yeah. not. Along, are they coming out with a new season of Minority Report? <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, people so, are gonna listen to this years from now, and they're gonna realize how dated this is. There's a there's a new <laughs> there's a new season of the strain coming at the end of. Next oh month. yes, I just want. Well, I think isn't this like the? There's only supposed to be the like, what like three seasons. That's yeah. what I heard. Yeah. So this is gonna be the last season. Well, that's that's. I mean, that remains to be seen. They could. They could potentially try to, you know, stretch it out for an extra season just because of the success of the show. Yeah. But I would hope that they don't because the the book was a trilogy and the the series is kind of following the book pretty pretty closely. So, but it is Guillermo del Toro. He's the uh, the the force behind the show and he's the guy that wrote the book. So 
if if he makes it longer, he makes it longer. Maybe there's more shit he wants to say. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to get off the topic of the strain. We can come back to it. No but problem. Do you think that AMC has the best programming? Yeah. I'm there. Is there is there anyone that would say a different channel? So channel no streaming service. Yes, I think Netflix is ridiculous. Oh, oh well, you well, yeah. can't really compare a streaming service to a to a cable channel. Why not? They they have the same funding. No, I think. because because on Netflix it's no holds bar. Like it's kind of like HBO. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, true, true. I mean, yeah. But out of out of out of all the ca- out of all the cable channels, yes, I would say AMC is the top dog. Because Preacher is phenomenal. Preacher is phenomenal. I have yep. still yet to watch that. Very much love Preacher. Love the strain. They gave us Breaking Bad. The strain is not AMC yeah, though. Breaking Bad. No, the strain the, is FX. Oh yeah, the, the strain is FX. I apologize for that. The whole point of me bringing this up was I was like, oh, the strain, yeah, AMC. But well, Jimmy, you fucked up. Didn't I you? did fuck up, but I still, I'm oh, still right. not but I still, away from AMC. Uh, I'm completely. So yeah, I'm. Yeah. We're being asked for directions. That might not be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. So, so, so yeah, so... We, we so, can edit that out. Do you want to give it, like... Well, we can't edit it out because we're live. So, basically, oh. what's going on is that I we're trying to get that. to Walker Stalker, and there was a detour in the middle of the road, and uh, it keeps directing me to a different way, and my GPS keeps... Can we park in here? Routing. No, we because... We might die here. We're no, I here. don't think... This isn't the... This, I don't think this is the, uh, the, the place, man. This is not it. We have to go... I this to, looks like the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, happened. we might get attacked here. Yeah, which is why I'm not gonna go. All right, here. Jim, time to put your money where your mouth is. Are you gonna live or not? So, <laughs> so yep. So yeah, right, if you guys hear me movies. saying I don't know where the fuck I'm going, that's because I'm just listening to my GPS, which is being an idiot right now. So, good times. Just like Lila, she's leading us astray. Yeah, it's weird because it's I don't know, but anyway, we might want to wrap up so we can find out where we're going. Unless you want to keep going. Oh, uh, no, we keep going. Fuck yeah, man. Keep going. Fuck it. Let people hear us be dumb. <laughs> it's not like they, it's not like we're fucking intelligent every time we're on the podcast anyway, so. Yeah. It's not like I ever am. You were on, <laughs> man. You're on Tony Flying Solo a little bit. Oh, he's saying it's not like he's ever intelligent. That's what he was saying. No, I know. I was trying to help him out. Uh, yeah, it's all good. But he's wrong. He's yeah. always intelligent. I am. I'm a smart cookie. <laughs> he is. That's why he's going to be doing trigonometry. Yeah, oh, while the yeah. zombies while are the eating zombie his ass. The zombie apocalypse is going on. <laughs> <laughs> I found I out what X is. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! In high, <laughs> school, in high school, my final we'll never know. <laughs> my final math class in high, high school was trigonometry. And then I went to college, and my first class for math in college was general areas of math. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and the very first thing that they did was they put a dot on the board. And they went, "This is a period." Hold on, we're somebody else trying to figure out where they're going. Hold on. You know where they're going? <laughs> uh, we're no. trying to figure it out because yeah. there's there's all these detours. So yeah, I know I have not a clue too. So if we're following you, we're following. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, man. I'm right. sorry, buddy. I don't think Damn, if, if this many fucking people see, followed us on Twitter, see, we'd be all right. You know what's funny, though, is that, like, I'm glad I'm not the only one that is, like, lost right now. There's two people following Maybe me Maybe everyone with an iPhone, their GPSs are just going crazy right now. Well, this is just bullshit because they put these detours up. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> this makes no sense. All right, I'm just going to follow. I'm going to follow this route and see what happens. Let's see what and happens. I think that the listeners should know... Um, because not everyone's going to be from Rhode Island, Massachusetts, what the weather's like right now, because this is just fitting. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's like walking dead right now. It is, it's raining. And foggy and unpleasant. So this is South Boston Bypass. It's all right, dreary so. and gloomy. Yeah. We're crossing a train track. Oh, God, yeah, it's like eight mile over here. We're on our way to... <laughs> it really is like Spit eight some mile. fire for us, Jim. I will not do that. <laughs> We're on our way to Maybe Terminus. The way I speak, does it sound like I rap? Dude, you could rap like William Shatner. Everybody like... from a 313, put your motherfucking hands up and follow me. Why do I know that? Because <laughs> we grew up with eight mile. Come on, Tony. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but the and fact it, that I just knew that and lyric... And the rapper M and another M... 
<laughs> so that, I mean, I, I really like the uh, the thing that you said there about uh, AMC. I mean, let's let's just consider what they have on that channel, sure, um, or what they've given us. I mean, obviously, you got Breaking Bad, yes, Mad Men, which I haven't watched, but everybody fucking raves about Mad Men. I watched the final like two seasons with my brother. Uh, A lot of people love it. I mean, Christina Hendricks. Oh yeah! Oh, she's, oh my God! High five for that! Oh yeah! Oh, she is gorgeous. Hell on Wheels. Never watched Hell on Wheels. It's fucking awesome. Uh, what else you got? You got Into the Badlands. Oh, oh love Into God, the Badlands. so good. Um, Coming out the second season shortly. Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, Preacher. Yep. Ride with Norman Reedus. <laughs> <laughs> AMC, that also has Bates Motel, doesn't it? No, that's, oh. uh, that's A&E. A&E. Yeah. Fucking love Bates Motel. Do they have, uh... That's awesome show. I awesome show. Hey, you know somebody from Bates Motel is going to be there today, Wait, right? Who? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot his name, but, uh, one of the guys from Bates Motel will be there today. Is it, Ale- is it Romero? Yeah. Yeah. Nestor Carbonelli? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh my god, I need to meet him. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Need, to, I need to text... Yep. I need to text. I want to ask him why. I'm so glad I just made your freaking day right now. Oh my god, dude, he's not even wearing eyeliner. What is up with your no. fucking <laughs> kidding me? Are those, his eyelashes. are those tattoos? It's gonna, he has to have eyeliner on. He has to. <laughs> are you hearing this? He's not, dude. He's are asked you, this in uh, interviews all the time. Are you fucking with me? This is, whoa, this is like telling me Santa doesn't exist. Santa doesn't exist? That guy's eyes have eyeliner on them. Wow. No, they're not. It's not eyeliner, Jim. I've I've heard the interviews myself. I can't finish my Gatorade. (laughs) I like, I feel like I need to take a nap. Take one, dude. I feel like we're going really far away from where we're supposed no, to be. Right no, now. because we took the wrong exit. It let us. Oh, uh, okay. We have All to right. get there. I need yeah. to meet Nestor Carpenter. We're, we're gonna get there. We're we're looking at a 10:29 arrival, which is when it <laughs> opens. So we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh man, well, Nestor Carbonelli. Good for him. I'm glad. He has luscious For lashes. For some reason. But they're not... Are they lashes? No. Maybe he's born with it, Jim. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> it's too bad that uh, Freddie Highmore is not going to be there. Oh, I would like to meet Norma. Oh, Norma's great. She's fantastic. Uh, what's her name? She plays in uh, she The Conjuring like as well. Emmys, oh, so know. fucking good. Vera. Uh, Vera. Vera for me. Farmiga. Farmiga. Yeah, for me, yeah her, her, uh, her she sister. She won the Academy Award, didn't she? Her sister yeah. played in the first season of, uh... It for Up in the Air? Fucking, oh, what is yeah, it? Was it for Up in the Air? I know I she was in that, but it was for Up in the Air? I'm gonna look it up. I think that it was for Up in the Air. She definitely won She was. She, she was won nominated. for being, like, the mistress of George Clooney in Up in the Air? Because she also produces Bates Motel. Her, I... sister, her sister played in the uh, first season of American Horror Story. Oh, shit. Who did she play? She was, uh, Violet. Are you, oh, you, that's her sister? That's her sister, yeah. There's difference, man. Yep, that's her sister. That's how I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to say anything illegal now, Jim. I says illegal shit all the time. Well, not on a live podcast, you can have, Tony. You can have an age difference and still be illegal. <laughs> uh, Violet was 16, that's all I'm going to say. In the mo- in the show, in real life, she was probably like 25. That's true. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... But the yeah, she, shit is the best to say live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, A and E A and E actually has some pretty cool shit though too. They have that uh, they have Bates Motel. They have um, Damien. Oh yeah, that show Damien, which is actually pretty good. Well, what's the other? They're coming out. Uh, which what channel is the the Exorcist coming out on? Fox. 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 Yeah. Fox? Which yeah. means you'll have about. Eight episodes and then it'll be gone. Yeah. Well, I think it's dumb. To, you, see, it's one of those things where it's like that's another thing where everybody's going to compare that shit to like The Exorcist. It's hard. It's hard to actually put a show out based on one of the most successful movies of all time. Oh, I agree. Right, you know but I mean? that's so, what I'm saying. Like, all right, so because it's called The Exorcist, it's not. It's not a remake. It's not a remake. It's they're not. They're not change. They're not like. 
Really? But, it's it's but, a different it's a different thing. Yeah, all right. I agree altogether. with you. Then don't use the Exorcist theme music no, in the because, preview. No, because it's no. You see, it's a different thing altogether, but it's in the Exorcist universe. It's just another Exorcist. Right. All right. Okay. I will say, I will say that the It's like if they came out with the Exorcist compelling. 4. Right or five because they did have a fourth one. Tolls, sure. um, tolls. Uh, we're hitting a toll. If they had an Exorcist five, how uh, much? And just split it up into a season. That's what this would be. Um, it's what? It's not telling me. Three fifty. Three fifty. Okay. It's a paper sign. Oh, you. Oh, wow. That's. Thank you, sir. Well, the digital sign says. K you. You so got, I wonder. You got it out. All right. Oh, there oh, it is. Thank you. Like, that's the thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It, they, the you couldn't really tell. <laughs> you couldn't really important. tell what it said. Fifteen. Now it's back to you. You still. Go. You guys still have to go fifteen miles an hour right now. Thank you. So, all right, guys. This is where I can't fuck up. So I got to take exit twenty-five twenty-four towards South Boston. Do so it. Don't lead us to the same place. We yeah, to South Boston. <laughs> Waka Staka. Yeah, we don't go into Dorchester. How you like them apples? <laughs> I got a number. How you like those apples? All right, let's Apple see. sauce, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the Boston accent. Yo, that Waka Staka was wicked pisser, kid. <laughs> wicked pisser. Too bad we never found it. Yo, there's a lot of zombies with bites, guys. They gotta go to the doctor. Hey, Tony. Tony, you're going way too fast. What'd you say? You're going way too fast. There's cops right around the corner over here. Cops. He's a cop. Cop. He's a cop. Oh, God. Oh, man. We're going into the area where The Departed was filmed. Ah, The Departed. That was a fucking good movie. Fucking good movie, kid. That shit was fucking wicked, pisser. That was wicked pizza. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> what's like a wicked, what's a, a big Boston like staple if you had to Drop say? Dropkick Murphy's. Racist. Dorchester. Yeah, Alright, okay, Dropkick Murphy's. Racism. <laughs> Dorchester. Gym that's everywhere. Did you just say <laughs> racist? But it's, it's in Boston. <laughs> Let's not joke around. It's in the South, especially. It's like the Celtics players can't be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I scored four points, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you fucking killed it on the floor tonight. You fucking killed it, kid. They say kid a lot. I know that. Yeah. They say kid a lot. They do. It's like that that YouTube video. What was it? What the fuck is that fish, bro? What the fuck is that, kid? Holy fucking god! Is that a whale, kid? <laughs> I don't know. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. I don't exactly no. what you're talking about. Yep. It's a fucking shock! Yeah, yeah it's a fucking <laughs> shock! Yo, Tommy, what the fuck is that? Holy shock week. shit, kid! It's a fucking shock! Shock yeah. week. Check it out. Oh, it's a, it's gonna a have stupid to, no. video. The listeners should check it out, too. Just look up, like... It's a fucking shark, kid? Boston shark. Exit 25. Take exit That's it right 25. there. Yep. Alright. Just look up your Boston accent, like, fishing, and you'll find it. <laughs> That's find literally a lot of things. No, that's literally <laughs> uh, I have never been so fucking close to something yet so far. Yeah, and I like how it took us around in a circle, so now we're back where we were. I a couple told you that's ago. what was gonna happen. Well no, I, I know, man. I mean it's just that it sucks because because this is what happens in Boston. Is that they and this is exactly what fucking happened last time. Oh no, dude, my coworker and I had to go to some banquet for our job. We got there like 45 minutes late because the GPS drove us around in circles and we were not smart enough to stop that. Well, the problem is that this place, this is this, remember when we, this happened last time we came in? Yeah. And then we had to find that parking garage? We're in the same exact place. I don't know what is going on, but I've had to go, uh, I don't know. And I, I have a feeling it's going to take me right back out and then back in and I'm going to have to pay that fucking toll again because it's, it's done this before and it, this sucks. I don't, exactly know which building it is either is it that building right there man is that the one that was at last time I think so yeah I don't think it is I think so because we walked under that shit right there 
and across. Yeah, but remember we were like, oh, we couldn't find a way to get in? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, look at all the cars on that bridge, man. Hey, yeah, so now yeah. I feel like we've actually come to a point where we can end this yeah. live broadcast. Whoever is listening right now, thank you very much. Uh, we will be resuming maybe a live broadcast or maybe just do some Facebook Live. We might do some other stuff. Uh, but we're definitely going to be trooping around this Walker Stalker convention if we can ever get to it. Um, thank you, and we are signing off. Later. Peace. Hello.